morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We are here for you at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about ingredients or formulations or something you may have read about or heard about or someone told you about and you want clarification, we can help you at 844-236-6010. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side or recommended on the program, you can head over to our website, brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, and tell them you want to join the team, help spread the word. And make some money at the same time. Spread the word about the power of nutrition. Help change lives and earn yourself some a little money or a lot of money. You can make a, a spare change. You can make 100, 200, 300 bucks a month. Or you can make 1000 or 5000 or 10000 or 20000 or $30,000 a month. If you do it right, if you're an entrepreneur, if you want to start your own business, and if you want to help, help, help folks and change lives using nutritional, by using nutritional supplements and more by uh, help by helping share health strategies. That's what Longevity is really all about, not just nutritional supplements, but health and health strategies and health information. If you're interested in starting a business that utilizes and takes advantage of all of these wonderful Longevity products as well as the Longevity programs, you can call 866-735-2470 or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, if you're dealing with acne blemishes or dark skin, hyperpigmented skin, you know, retinol is one of the all-time great topical supplements or topical ingredients for hyperpigmentation, for dark spots. I was just reading an article in the New England Journal of Medicine about retinoic acid. Retinoic acid, or Retin-A, is, as most people know it as, which is... Uh, which has the brand name Tretinoin, or we'll just call it Retin-A. Uh, Retin-A is a go-to for hyperpigmentation. Dermatologists know this from the New England Journal of Medicine, May 1993. Topical application of Retin-A significantly lightens post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and to a clinically but statistic, a clinically minimal but statistically significant degree lightens normal skin in black persons. Hmm, interesting. So uh, Retin-A, of course, is not retinol. Retinol is 100 times weaker than retinoic acid, and that's why I made my retinol, fi- uh, my retinol gel 5%. That's why I use 5%, because that gives you the equivalent retinoic acid dose of a 0.05% Retin-A cream, and 0.05%, of course, is the standard dose of a Retin-A cream. So when you use our Retinol 5% gel, you're getting the equivalent of Retin-A 0.05% in terms of retinoic acid or retinol or vitamin A strength. Of course, you also get vitamin C in our truth 5% retinol gel, and that has its own 
uh, that has its own uh, anti-hyperpigmentation and skin health benefits, and you don't get any preservatives, no fragrances, no emulsifiers, no waxes, no water, no silicon, no oil, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, which is why your jar of Truth Retinol 5% gel will last you six months or so. You know, if you use it at once or twice a week, which is what I recommend. You can also check out our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, oils, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Once again, we have been talking about connective tissue, glucosamine, fiber, sugars, the ketogenic diet, specifically about how you build connective tissue. That's what we've been talking about now for the last couple of weeks, and we'll continue talking about it because in large part, many of the signs of aging, many of the signs of disease, many of our degenerative problems are connective tissue problems, and you know, don't really hear people talking about this. Well, you don't hear anybody talking about connective tissue, really, unless you're an athlete or you're dealing with arthritis. Most people think of arthritis when they think of connective tissue, but building connective tissue and supporting connective tissue have multiple, multiple health benefits. Of the four substances, or tissues as they call them, tissues are nothing more than stuff. The four stuffs, four tissues that the body's made up of, nervous tissue, muscle tissue, surface tissue, which is technically called epithelial tissue, and connective tissue, it is the connective tissue that is most associated with the physical and obvious and visible appearances of aging. In fact, even the non-obviously visible health issues that kill us or that age us, such as heart disease and dementias, are also associated with breakdowns in connective tissue. Heart disease is in many ways a connective tissue problem. Dementias, as we said last, on our last program, are in many ways a connective tissue problem. That is because in addition to supporting the body structure, that's the main role of connective tissue. It holds everything in place. It connects all our parts, connective tissue. The name connective tissue refers to the fact that it connects our body's parts. But connective tissue also produces substances or is made up of substances that nourish the cells of the body, that oxygenate the cells of the body, that detoxify the cells of the body. So connective tissue also plays a role in cellular nourishment, cellular oxygenation, and cellular detoxification, not just structure. In fact, if you want to anti-age and stay youthful in form, in function, in appearance, you want to be focusing on your connective tissue. And most of the signs of what we call aging are really connective tissue problems. One of the most fascinating and important and relevant uh, aspects of building connective tissue is its generic nature. You, uh, you, try, you take supplements, for example, that build connective tissue or support connective tissue building in the cartilage, and you get connective tissue building benefits everywhere. Strategies for making connective tissue in the joints will improve the building of connective tissue in the brain. That means supplements like glucosamine, NAG, vitamin C, the glucogel caps, hyaluronic acid, bone broth protein, cartilage, uh, gelatin, all of which support the building of connective tissue. If we take these things for our arthritis, they'll also protect our skin from aging. They'll diminish or reduce the likelihood of the formation of wrinkles. They'll strengthen our blood vessels. Bone soup strengthens your blood vessels. Bone broth protein strengthens your blood vessels. Glucosamine strengthens your blood vessels. Nobody really says that the glucogel caps are for your heart and circulatory system, but they are. I love that. I love multifunctionality. As a pharmacist, I'm always looking for multifunctionality in supplements. That means you take a supplement for your joints, you get benefits for your blood vessels and your digestive tract and your brain and your heart and all of the connective tissue. There's no drugs that can do that, folks. There's no medical protocols that are built your connective tissue. None. Zippo. Nada. Nothing your doctor can do. Nothing in his bag of tricks that is going to help build your connective tissue. On the other hand, you take supplements for building your cartilage and you get multiple benefits. All the connective tissue. You support the building and the structure and the function of all your connective tissue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a break. 844-236-6010. And come back with more good health information on the bright side. Back on the bright 
Right Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, please go to truth, uh, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you... Uh, if you want to speak to a live person, and if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, you've got questions, or they can help you at 866-735-2470. Over the weekend, Quentin Groves, an NFL, a former NFL football, uh, NFL player, football player, really good one too, 32 years old, you probably may have heard this. Uh, he went to uh, the hospital to have a routine surgical procedure done. When I talk about deadly surgical procedures, folks, I'm not kidding. Anyway, uh, Quentin Gross had a condition called uh, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, which is a heart issue, a heart condition, where you get this, uh, it's a congenital issue. You're born with an electrical, uh, extra electrical pathway in your heart. So your heart uh, it gets too much electricity, basically, and it, gets, uh, uh, it can go into rapid heartbeats, rapid heartbeat. And so uh, the medical strategy, of course, is, is to burn part of your heart off. No, I'm not kidding. It's literally to burn part of your heart off. This is what your doctor thinks is a good idea. Now, the fact of the matter is, is many people live fine, live perfect lives and don't even notice they have this, this condition. It is a problem for some folks, but that's not a reason to burn your heart. Of course, burning your heart also increases the risk of dying in the surgical, in the operating room, in the middle of the procedure. And that's exactly what happened to Quentin Groves. He ended up dying of a heart attack. This 32-year-old super stud athlete, former NFL player and a really good NFL player at that. Folks, there's no surgical procedure that does not have the risk of death. And that's why I say sometimes deadly medical procedures, especially burning your heart. This is the dumbest, most barbaric of all surgical of all medical procedures. Uh, I think it is. There's probably something else that's more stupid and more, uh, more, m more deadly, but uh, or d crazy. By the way, on, on our last program, I told you I was going to tell you about this. I was going to uh, give you the title of this book uh, about the uncertainty of medicine. It's called Snowball in a Blizzard. It's written by a guy named Stephen Hatch, who I believe is an MD. Uh, the take-home message of this book, the subtitle is Snow, uh, the title Snowball in a Blizzard has a subtitle of Physician's Notes on Uncertainty in Medicine. The point being, doctors don't know. It's not their fault. It's just when they're arrogant enough to think they do know that we run into a problem. You've got to read this book if you're interacting with a, with a physician on a regular basis. Snowball in a Blizzard, a physician's note on uncertainty in medicine. And this is where supplements and dietary strategies and movement strategies and rest and all the things we talk about in this program become so important. If you're dealing with an accelerated heartbeat, I don't care if it's Wolf, Parkinson, White Syndrome or whatever it is, your strategy is to calm the body down, not to kill the heart, not to poison or, uh, the heart with a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker drug or to burn it in a surgical procedure, but to calm everything down. Who knows how much of an accelerated heartbeat is due to the fact that we are in sympathetic overdrive, that is, our emergency nervous system is kicking in. Who knows how much of arrhythmias are due to that and fibrillations, probably a good portion. And this is why supplements are so important. You know, you could take supplements, uh, the B-complex, for example, for brain health, and you're going to support your heart. You reduce your intake of sugar, and you're going to uh, decrease the likelihood of cataracts, and you're going to support the, the, the circulatory system and the heartbeat. You take supplements for your joints. You take supplements for uh, your arthritis. You take supplements for your blood vessels. You take supplements for your circulatory system. And your, the electrical conductivity of your heart improves. And this is where building connective tissue becomes so important. When you build, or using supplements to build connective tissue. When you take supplements to build connective tissue, everything benefits. We always say on this program, all disease is cell disease. And in terms of connective tissue, the connective tissue is no different. The connective tissue is the stuff. 
In our raisin bread analogy, the connective tissue is the bread. But the bread comes from raisins, connective tissue raisins, connective tissue cells, cells that make connective tissue. And these cells are arguably, or at least among, the most important cells in the body because they're making the connective tissue. And if all disease is cell disease, connective tissue problems are in many ways problems of the cells that make the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the stuff, but the cells that make the stuff are where it's all happening. That's where it all comes from. So building, or understanding at least, the importance of the cells that make connective tissue is critically important if we're going to leverage or take advantage of the power of connective tissue and supplements and strategies that help us build connective tissue. These cells are called fibroblasts. We've talked about them before. Fibroblast. Once we understand the importance of connective tissue, and hopefully by this, by this time, I mean, I've been talking about it now for two weeks probably, we understand the importance of connective tissue. Once we understand this, once we understand the relevance of connective tissue to our health and well-being and physical appearance and aging, a case could be made that from a structural perspective, the fibroblast cell is the king of the body. The fibroblast is the major cell in the body. If you understand this connective tissue, the relevance of connective tissue to everything in the body. Now, you can argue about the brain cells and the various, the, the cardiocytes, the heart cells, etc. But a, a really solid case could be made that the fibroblast is the major cell in the body. In a raisin bread model of the body, the fibroblasts are the oven. They're where the stuff the bread, that is, is made. They're the, ra they're the raisins that make the bread, our magical raisins. The technical name for the bread, by the way, is extracellular matrix. I'm calling it bread. We're gonna, if you're a scientist or a healthcare professional out there listening, it's the ECM, the extracellular matrix, which is unspeakably important. It's the extracellular matrix where that feeds the cells, that nourishes the cells, that detoxifies the cells. And when we talk about the three elements of cell disease, starvation, suffocation, and toxification, the extracellular matrix makes, plays a major role. And when this extracellular matrix is clogged up with fibers, that is fibrosis, or it's broken down in some way, or the circulation, the blood flow in the extracellular matrix is somehow compromised, we get sick. The extracellular matrix you could think of as the stuff outside a cell. Picture the cells sitting in the extracellular matrix like miniature pieces of fruit sitting in a jello mold. In fact, gelatin, which we use to make jello molds, real jello molds, is extracellular matrix of the cow. It's cow extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix, the stuff that the cells are sitting in, like fruit in a jello mold or like raisins in bread, is made up of two major components. The extracellular matrix is made, made up of two major components, sugar and protein. So this jelly, gelatin-like material that surrounds the cells, that's responsible for nourishing the cells, that's responsible for detoxifying the cells, that's responsible for oxygenating the cells, is made up of sugars and proteins, this extracellular matrix. And you better believe the extracellular matrix is important. In fact, when we talk about connective tissue, basically we're talking about the extracellular matrix. Of course, the fibroblasts, where it comes from, they're also important, but it's the extracellular matrix that, that gives us the support. And it's made up of sugar and protein. And we will elaborate on this. Uh, well, we'll probably do it when we come back for a little bit and then tomorrow on our next Bright Side episode. All right, we're back on the Bright Side. I am a Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, um, or also uh, benfuchsarchives.com. You can check out all our websites, our multiple websites at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Of course, if you want to check out our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, we will, uh, we're, we're going to talk a lot about, don't you worry, we're going to be talking lots about glucosamine, connective tissue, and fib uh, the fibroblast, the cells that make connective tissue. You can do a whole, whole program, just, just the connective tissue show, if you're interested in health, because... In many ways, health is a connective tissue issue. 
The connective tissue is made up of sugar and protein. Sugar protein molecules that are chunked together, they call them proteoglycans. If you've heard of hyaluronic acid, that's a substance that's similar. It's an honorary proteoglycan, they say. And these uh, hyaluronic acid-like substances and, and proteoglycan substances, they help feed and nourish and detoxify cells, and that makes them critically important. And the whole thing is, uh, is woven together to form a, a, a solid and, and robust and strong structure via proteins like collagen. The collagen is kind of embedded in the sugars, and that's your connective tissue. Collagen, other fibers too, but collagen's the main one. Reticulin is another one. Elastin is another one. But collagen is the main one. So you've got collagen fibers, and they are kind of act like wires, if you will, and they hold the proteoglycans and the sugary, gooey substance together. And between the collagen and the gooey substance, you get this strong stuff called connective tissue. And understanding how to build this stuff is critical, and it all comes from the fibroblasts. By the way, glucosamine is a component of the gooey material in the extracellular matrix. And this is why glucosamine supplements can be so helpful for connective tissue. And we will absolutely positively be continuing talking about this stuff tomorrow and in coming episodes on the bright side. Okay. Want to optimize those 10,000 steps? Walk faster, sit less. This is from Oregon State University. The popular daily target of 10,000 steps is a worthwhile goal. But if you can't do 10,000 steps, if you don't have 10,000 time to do 10,000 steps, according to researchers at Oregon State, publishing in uh, Medicine and Science and Sports and Exercise, you could do less, but you have to do it with more intensity. This is so important for people who don't have a lot of time to work out, like me. If you can't stay in the gym for an hour, if you don't have time to sit in the gym for an hour, you don't, you've got better things to do than sit in the gym for an, hour, for, the, for an hour, you don't need an hour. You don't even need a half an hour. You can get a great workout in 20 minutes, in 15 minutes, in 10 minutes, in two minutes. Yes, you can get a great workout in 120 seconds, but it has to be intense. That's the key, is the intensity. You've got to get the muscles to fatigue. That's when they grow. That's when the connective tissue grows. That's when the body grows. The body grows when it reaches fatigue. And you want to get to that point. And you can get to that point with intensity. So if you don't have time to be in the gym, and most of us don't, you don't have time to be in the gym for a long period of time, for more than 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, work more intensely. I always get a kick out of people walking around leisurely in the gym and like it's social hour, talking to their friends and hanging out and getting on the phone and goofing off. That's wasted time. Maybe they got lots of time to be in the gym, but I don't. I, I go in and I come out and I work fast and I'm done in 20 minutes and I can't really move my body effectively for a few minutes after because I'm so sore and stiff. That's what you want to feel. You want to feel, you'll know you got a good workout. If you don't know you got a good workout, you probably didn't get a good workout. You could do it by walking up the stairs with a, with a, a backpack. You can do it by just walking up the stairs for some of us. If you're like morbidly obese or you're completely out of shape or your body's falling apart, just walking up the stairs to the point where your body, feel, where you feel like you got a workout, that can be a great way to build. And then come home and do your glucosamine and your, and your vitamin C and your bone broth protein and your whey protein. Always do your nutritional supplements when you come home from the gym. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Atlanta and welcome Don to the bright side. Good morning, Don. Hey, Ben. How you doing? I'm doing good. What's up? A uh, couple of quick questions. Um, hypokalemia. Okay. Um, I, which also deals with uh, tachycardia, which is a you know increased heart that, rate. I've been taking some uh, mag, some cow mag, some liquid cow mag, okay, which um, was uh, uh, magnesium aspartate and citrate and calcium citrate uh, in the liquid form. It helped my arrhythmia in three days, so That's it shut awesome. that down in about three days. But the tachycardia That's awesome. is still still the, you still got the tachycardia. So, Still got the tachycardia. That's still. And then what's happening is, is I'm losing potassium some kind of way. Okay, gotcha. So, did you hear about? Uh, yeah. Did you hear about Quentin Gross, by the way? 
No, I didn't. That was crazy. I just heard about that, that from you. That was isn't hard. that crazy? He went in for, and hard. I don't know if you follow football at all. I think he might have yeah, played a little bit. He played for, he played for somebody t- Tennessee or somebody down south. But yeah, he was okay. a he was a heck of a player and and a, a physical specimen. And uh, anyway, so here's the deal: hypokalemia for the listeners is a deficiency or a low level of potassium, and then uh, that will absolutely affect your heart. So first of all, you got to correct the potassium imbalance. Now you may have a kidney issue, and I, the only way to know these and uh, potassium is is handled by the kidneys in large part. So the only way to know this is to look for other symptoms. The heart is a secondary. The circulatory and the heart are secondary symptoms. The primary symptoms in the body or the primary breakdowns in the body are at the level of the digestive system, the uh, cir- the uh, blood sugar system and uh, the adrenal thyroid complex. Even that is secondary to blood sugar and digestion. So fundamentally, the, the, the bottom of our triangle of disease is the digestive system and the blood sugar system. So first of all, any digestive health issues, that's what you got to always think of. Look for them. Yeah. If you don't know them right away, look for them. Say again, were you going to say something, Don? Gas and lots of it. There you so go. Pretty right much, there. Especially okay. on protein. You know, it's You're not processing. Well, that's bing, that bingo. That's valuable information. I'll tell you why. If you're not processing protein, you got gas, chances are good that you're not making enough stomach acid and you're not making enough or you're not activating your digestive enzymes. Everything's downstream from the stomach in terms of the digestive system. Actually, it's downstream from the mouth. You chew your food. But the, main, the, the first point where intense digestion c- kicks in, biochemical digestion kicks in, is at the level of the stomach. And then everything else is downstream. So if you're not absorbing your protein, you're not making enough stomach acid, you're not uh, activating your enzymes, the chances are good that you're not absorbing potassium at that point. Potassium and other minerals require acid. And then downstream, you've got uh, the intestine. So you may be having problems at that level, too. You may not be getting enough potassium in the intestine to get into the blood. So the best thing you could do is start to acidify, or first thing you should do, I I should say, is the uh, acidify the digestive contents. You should be doing apple cider vinegar every day. In addition to acidifying your stomach, that also has potassium in it. Are you doing apple cider vinegar? You know about it? Yes. Okay. Are you doing it? Yes. No, with all I your meals. Been, yeah. Okay, with all okay. your meals, apple cider vinegar, and then also with all your meals, digestive enzymes. Hey, Don, hang on through the break, and we'll finish up when we come back. Okay. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We're talking to Don in Atlanta. You there, Don? Yes. Hey, Don. Uh, okay, so uh, as far as your uh, hypokalemia goes, your low levels of potassium uh, in combination with the digestive issues, I'd be using things to acidify the stomach contents. Ultimate Enzymes contains betaine HCL, which will do that. Apple cider vinegar will not only acidify your stomach to help you digest your protein and absorb your minerals and B vitamins and activate your enzymes, but it also is a source of minerals like potassium. Apple cider vinegar in the middle of the day will get you some potassium. And also, by the way, apple cider vinegar is a source of acetic acid, which is pro-ketogenic and also has wonderful health benefits for the brain. It's appetite suppressant. It's mood enhancing. And if you do apple cider vinegar in the middle of the day, if you really pay attention to your body, there's a subtle sense of well-being that's associated with it. Uh, of course, you know, it tastes a little, little strong, shall we say. I personally like it, but some people don't. You can mix your apple cider vinegar with oil and make a nice oil and vinegar dressing. And yes, I know about oils. You've got to be careful with your oils. Make sure that it's refrigerated and it's fresh and it's in a cold bottle. Uh, but a little bit of oil uh, in your uh, apple cider vinegar and put on top of your salads, by the way, will help mm-hmm. uh, improve the taste, the palatability of the vinegar, and also help you get nutrients out of the veggies, which are also important for your digestive tract. You should be doing lots of veggie juices. In addition to being nature's best source of potassium, vegetables are also a good source of fiber, which will help the digestive tract. And then as far as your tachycardia, rapid heartbeat goes, anybody dealing with tachycardia, including you, Don, you got to relax the body. This is so, so important. Now, in addition to the stresses that will come from a whacked out digestive system, 
and the stresses that will come out from uh, elevate from uh, uh, dysglycemia or messed up blood sugar, there is of course mental and emotional stresses and the stresses of lack of oxygen. So you're going to need to be working on the digestive system and your blood sugar, but also sitting on the couch practicing slow deep breathing is a must for you. A a anybody really, it's a must, but especially if you're dealing with a rapid heartbeat. Um, also relaxation techniques. Hot water, immersion in hot water, um, muscle, uh, muscle relaxation, yoga, massage, all of those things can be very helpful for dealing with a rapid heartbeat. So you're basically dealing with your triangle of disease, which is substanding or underneath the, uh, the symptoms of the heart. This is why heart, uh, most of our medical strategies for dealing with the heart are pretty much useless unless you just shut the heart down, which is basically all they can do. Because the heart is secondary the heart issues are secondary to blood sugar issues, to oxygen and thyroid and adrenal issues, and then to digestive health issues. So that's where you want to be focusing on, Don. Okay, of course, the Healthy Start Pack will get you. That's one of the neat things, by the way, about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is it's a great source of easy-to-absorb minerals. So if you're not doing the BTT, you, should prob you probably should be. At, you should probably be doing the whole Healthy Start Pack, too, because essential fatty acids can also help your heart. And, of course, vitamin D and calcium in your OsteoFX are also important for the heart and the circulatory system, among other systems in the body. Okay? Okay. All right, my man. Cool. Good to talk to you. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. All right. All right take care, Don. Bye-bye. All right, let's move to Ohio and welcome Jenny to the Bright Side. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Um, my issue is with blood vessels that are they're like bursting in the bottom of my feet this last week. So I just um, wait, 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 wait. Blood vessels bursting. What, now, what does that mean? It okay, just exploded well, spontaneously? Well, I get out of bed, and I just started walking, and then um, there'd be a hard as a knot, and it'd be purple. Wha oh, you're getting bruised. Rapid no. bruising. Okay, that's a sign of general breakdown, my dear, and it's not a good sign. You're just, taking, you're just, putting, you're just putting pressure on your foot, put your weight on, yeah. on your foot, and then it, you get bruising from that? Well, it's, bruised, it's purple, and it's hard as a rock, and it stays that way for three or four hours. It used to well, happen in my when I'd be carrying, like, a five-gallon bucket of water or something when I was watering. Well, let's thing. talk here. Let's talk, because that's a sign that something's breaking down. What else is going on? This is not your problem. This is just a sign of the problem. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a problem, because obviously it's uncomfortable, but that's not really where the problem's beginning. What else is happening in your body? Are you on any medication? I'm only on a thyroid medication. Um, You're on a thyroid. thyroid medication. Okay. Well, that's, that's important to know. Not so much that the thyroxin is a problem. As, as far as drugs go, it's not one of the worst there is. It's not helping you any. But you have a thyroid problem. Obviously, you're hypothyroid. The thyroid regulates building. It regulates everything. So the thyroid is the jumping off point to all health challenges. And nobody ever talks about this. Hypothyroidism, low, blood, low thyroid levels are epidemic. And this is what precedes all health issues. It's the point of the triangle of disease. It's the, I should say, the tip, the apex of the triangle of disease is the thyroid. From that point, heart disease ensues, breakdown in the body ensues, autoimmune disease ensues, cancer ensues. So the thyroid is the jumping off point. So you've got to have more problems than just bruising. You've got to have some digestive issues. By the way, thyroid hormone is activated in the intestine. So when you have a messed up digestive system, the odds are really good you're going to have a messed up thyroid. And because, this is so important here, listen up guys, because the thyroid regulates the intestine, you end up with this circle, a vicious downward spiral where your intestine's messed up, that screws up the thyroid. The thyroid regulates the intestine, so when you're hypothyroid, your intestine is more screwed up, that messes up the thyroid, and that goes on and on and on. But you, the key here, the take-home message is work on the digestion. You have to, Jenny, Jenny, my dear, you have to know that you've got some kind of digestive issues, whether it's constipation or bloating or gas or heartburn or some kind of discomfort there, probably for a long time, probably for years. Yeah. Okay. Now, how did I? How do I know this? I'm not a psychic. I'm just a pharmacist. I, it's just how it works. This is the beginnings of the breakdown at the digestive system level. So, in order to deconstruct your health challenge, you're not going to be able to do it at the foot level, or even the blood level. You got to do it at the level of the digestive system, which is where it begins. So first and foremost, everything you could do for your digestive system. You should be fasting for a couple of days, clearing the deck, do a swear V cleanse if you don't want to fast. By the way, this, I forgot to mention this to Don. The swear V is a great source of potassium. Uh, so, uh, do, what's that? How do you spell that? 
uh, S U E S as in Sam, U E R O, and then second word V V I E capital V I E, um, Swero V is a uh, it's a fermented whey product for the gut that also contains very easy to utilize easy to absorb uh, electrolytes potassium and sodium particularly and they're very 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 helpful for energy energizing uh, energy so when you're fasting sometimes people don't like the feeling of it at least at first people usually like the feeling of it after a couple days uh, when you're fasting if you don't want to go through the full blown fast use your swero v half a bottle every hour that's called a swero v cleanse do it for two or three days, and then it's. This is so important, Jenny, for the re, for, so that you can live a long life, not just for your foot or for your thyroid, but for your longevity. You got to figure out what foods are causing your problems. Eliminate those foods. That's the food diary and the elimination diet. We've talked about that a million times. And then using supplements for the digestive tract, chief among which are the nightly essence probiotics, the Fucoid Z, which helps uh, restore the health of the digestive tract lining. The glucogel caps, I'd be doing aloe vera, I'd be doing apple cider vinegar and your ultimate enzymes with all meals. And uh, let's see if there's, if I'm, any, I'm missing, there's so many things. And vegetable juices with the fiber, all right? You've you got to focus on the health of your digestive tract. At least for a while, you can't eat your regular foods and maybe for the rest of your life. All right, that's step number one. Now, you probably got messed up blood sugar, too, so it wouldn't hurt you to get on some sweeties and to watch your intake of sugars, uh, refined sugars especially. You may have gluten problems. Almost everybody does. Uh, so that, that means no more bread, cereal, or at least it, reduce your intake of bread, cereals, pasta, etc. And then uh, make sure you're doing the healthy start pack, particularly the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which contains B vitamins as well as minerals, all of which are important for circulation. Uh, I'd be taking a little extra vitamin K, um, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 micrograms a day. You'll get some of that in your vegetable juices. But I would be supplementing with some vitamin K2, K2, the number 2, uh, as well. That could be helpful for bruising, directly for bruising. And chances are you're deficient in that too because that's made in the gut. Um, and then also, if you want to take a, a few other miscellaneous nutrients, I'd be doing a little extra vitamin C. You cannot build blood vessels without vitamin C, and vitamin Z is the primal panacea in any case. And then, uh, and let's see if there's any. Oh, and then make sure you're doing your slow, deep breathing, helping relax the system, uh, and also improving oxygenation, which will improve the health of the heart and the circulatory system as well. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I hope we helped you, Jenny. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Apologize if I left you on hold. Had a bunch of calls today, um, but we did talk about a, a lot of relevant and good health information, as we always do on the Bright Side. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our new blemish repair complex if you're dealing with acne blemishes or if you just simply want to accelerate the healing of the skin. Uh, if you're pre-plastic surgery or about to have a facelift or you have any kind of surgical procedure done or if you had a burn, on the skin, our Truth Blemish Repair Complex is a overall comprehensive skin healing product. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.